I started my perfect meal with some amazing bison biryani and kati rolls from the trendiest Indian restaurant in Calgary, then had an unbelievable omakase sushi adventure with one of Calgary's top chefs and restaurateurs, Darren McLean. But I'm not done yet. I'm heading to my last course, a vegetable anchored feast at one of Calgary's top rated and most popular restaurants, 10 Foot Henry. I'm Lisa Nguyen and this is my One Perfect Meal. To get there, I'll head out of East Village and through downtown towards one of the hottest restaurant districts in Calgary, Victoria Park. Calgary's pretty easy to get around using public transit. The backbone of the system is a C-train, which connects all four quadrants of the city. And because downtown is a free fare zone, my trip is on the house. I love being on the C-train, watching Calgary slide by. You can see why this is the third most livable city in the world. It's clean, modern, and on the train, you get a sense of how connected everything is. As soon as you see the plus 15 system, you'll know what I'm talking about. Over 130 buildings in downtown Calgary are connected by the world's most extensive pedestrian skywalk system, 15 feet above street level, hence the name. It's a fantastic and accessible way to get around, especially during the winter, and it lets out just two blocks away from Victoria Park home to some of Calgary's best pubs, cocktail bars, and of course, 10 Foot Henry. Named after an iconic piece of Calgaryana, which I know isn't a word, but I'm making it one right now, 10 Foot Henry is designed to be a casual place where you can eat and enjoy every day. It's one of Calgary's best family-style restaurants serving a vegetable anchored menu which means they found the perfect balance of food you should be eating and the food you want to be eating. This amazing mix has won them countless awards and they can be found in almost every list of Calgary's top restaurants. And by they, I mean the husband and wife restaurateur team, Chef Stephen Smee and Asia Lapointe. Grilled bread fife sourdough, whipped feta with roasted tomatoes and fresh herbs. Phenomenal, how do I eat this? Well, at 10 foot, we recommend we whip the tomatoes and the feta together, then we're going to spread it on the red five sourdough. Great. And what are the fresh herbs on there? Dill, cilantro, and micro parsley. It's actually our number one selling dish since the day that we've opened. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, I'm going to try to get all the components in one bite. Mm. I could have this every day. It's so creamy, but then the, the creamy is balanced with the tomatoes and the freshness and the acidity. The dill, I can really taste the dill and the cracked pepper. I love you're this. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're a plant anchored restaurant, but what is what is the cuisine? How would you define that? Um, Tim Foot Henry likes to merge what you should be eating with what you want to be eating. So you can come in here, have a great meal and feel like you're indulging, but still have a healthful experience and leave here feeling good. And Asia, you run front of house, which is really nice complimentary skill set. How would you describe the dining experience here at 10 Foot Henry? At 10 Foot, what comes to mind for me is that we try to offer a really casual experience that's really comfortable for our guests as well as super fun. We really want to have every walk of life that comes through the door be able to enjoy a lively experience here. I feel that we set ourselves apart by offering a fine level of service and a really casual fun environment. I love that you can come here uh, for a business meeting or a brunch with friends or even bring kids with with your family. That's exactly what we're trying to do. We want to appeal to every demographic, every day of the week, families included. Our brunch definitely brings a lot of families in. Our pancake is renowned. <laughs> um, that's my son's favorite menu item here. We want it to be a place where everyone feels comfortable for business, for family, for all your celebrations. This is where we want you to be. So what is family-style dining? Simply put, similar to how you eat at home. Making plates of food, everybody takes a plate off the table. More specifically for us though, as a chef, you kind of get to treat the table as the plate. Every guest gets the shared experience. So that means you get to try a lot of different dishes. That's probably the biggest benefit. Do you want to try something else? Absolutely. That looks so fun. Okay. <laughs> I've this never is, seen cauliflower served yeah, like that. This is definitely in the top five list of the menu. So this is our roasted Alberta cauliflower. It's been marinated in a, a gochujang sauce. And there's a sesame tahini puree on the bottom. And then we garnish it with really finely grated ginger and sliced scallions. All right. 
Yeah, right in there. That's usually the reaction. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. You know what it is? The, the cauliflower's perfectly roasted. It's not because it can get so mushy so quickly. And I get the gochujang spice and then the tahini mellows it out. These are all my favorite flavors mixed into one. Tell me about your menu, chef. How is it curated? I don't know, not to sound cheesy, but it counted as a cultural mosaic, as we say. The menu is representative of that as well. From number one seller, tomatoes for sure is number one. Number two being the cauliflower and the tagliatelle with the kale pesto. The Alberta strip loin with gai choy and truffle Dijon. That's another big hit. And this is delicious. And you're absolutely right about the cultural mosaic. I had so many flavors like the tahini from maybe Lebanese. I had the Korean, the ginger and, and scallion was very Japanese or Chinese. I would say arguably our most popular menu item happens to be from our sweets menu. It is our butterscotch pudding. I always say that people come for the pudding and stay for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try this. Yes, you do. That toffee on top. Oh, so there's a nice beautiful butterscotch pudding at the bottom, first layer. Then we have a layer of caramel and then there's sponge toffee that we make in house. And then we garnish it all with some sea salt. Gotta get all the layers, I'm guessing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get right to the bottom. Right to the bottom. Make sure you get some of the crunchy toffee, a yeah. little bit of the salt. Oh, this is gooey, sticky, yummy. <laughs> I can tell already. <laughs> Melting. Melting. It's rich, but it's not heavy. Like, I can eat this whole dish to myself, I think. Yeah, we've seen that happen before, yes. for yeah. sure. Mm. I can't believe how silky that is. And the toffee is something that I used to eat as a kid, so it's, I'm having a very emotional food moment right now. Yeah, the, the concept for the dessert menu is kind of bringing grandma's house into the restaurant. I'm, I'm so full, everything was so delicious, but I can't leave without asking about the name. Ten Foot Henry. Ten Foot Henry is based on a comic strip from the 30s called Henry. And there's a playwright and director in Calgary, his name is Blake Brooker. And in 1981, he painted a 10-foot sign of Henry and put him on McLeod Trail with a thought bubble to send messages to the passers-by. And this particular piece of art has kind of traveled around the city and ended up upstairs in this building. We loved that that name being as playful as it was, didn't tie us any type of cuisine, and we have just so much liberty within these four walls to do the type of food that we love, and we know our guests will too. One of our uh, partners here ended up collecting a whole bunch of the comics. <laughs> so we have a big stack of them downstairs. Uh, Can I see some? Of course, yeah, we'll bring some up. This is why I love Calgary. Two of the busiest restaurateurs in the city, and they still make time to hang out with me and read comics. That's part of why Calgary has some of the best restaurants in Canada. Everyone is so warm and friendly here. And the only thing better than great food is great company. Except maybe the butterscotch pudding. I definitely need more of that. Welcome to Edmonton, city of champions, capital of Alberta, or as I like to call it, home. I'm Ashley Collingwell, and I'm eating my way through Edmonton on season two of One Perfect Meal. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 